Uh, before we get into this talk of Joker 2, Folly Adieu, uh, I just wanted to mention up top that the movie does depict or imply sexual assault, uh-huh. uh, which so we will be covering that in our review. Rob Collings is going to put in time code. So if that's something that you don't need to hear, feel free to skip over that. We'll try to isolate it to like one particular section. Yeah, for uh, sure. But everything mm-hmm. else will avoid it. Keep lighthearted and fun. That's about Joker right. 2, Folly Adieu. Man. Mason, did you know this maybe cost $200 million? I've heard maybe it cost that. That has been. I mean, Lady Gaga's not cheap, presumably. No. Jacqueline Phoenix. They had to build that cheap. courtroom. I mean, the last one made a billion dollars, so I imagine Joaquin Phoenix could, could command a bit more. Absolutely. Bit more moolah for this Half one. of that. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently, though, Todd Phillips has said it's not that much or whatever. I think it is. Yeah. I think this is a very expensive movie based on getting Todd Phillips, Lady Gaga, and uh, Joaquin Phoenix back. Like that alone, mm-hmm. I think this would easily. Uh, hit, approach $200 million. But mm-hmm. it's US opening abysmal. Yeah. It's opened uh, to $45 million uh, compared to the first one, which was 96.2. Mm-hmm. So, which broke records as an R rated yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was the biggest R rated movie of all time before Deadpool and Wolverine came out breaking a billion dollars. But this is even lower than they thought it was going to be when they thought it was going to be low. Now, is this lower than, for example, the movie Madam Web? That's funny you should say that, Mason. I do have some numbers here. I don't have that specifically, but Black Adam opened at $67 million, which was higher. Yeah. The Flash, yeah. dreadful movie mm-hmm. for ghouls. Sure. Was, um, and starring uh, ghouls. And starring ghouls. Made, and made by ghouls. <laughs> made by, like, opened to $55 million, uh, but it also the Marvels beat it as well, which opened to $46 Damn. million. Damn. So this is... And the Marvels is woke and this is not woke. Not very... Oh, what? I don't know. I, who it's, even knows? Right. I don't know what people see in anything yeah, anymore, yeah. mate. It's is almost a, like that's a meaningless term. Yeah, it's a, this is a Rorschach painting of a movie, isn't oh, it? Oh, Rorschach, you see what you interesting. Want. Interesting you say Like that. the Joker. Mm. Uh, I don't have Madam Web numbers, but I cannot imagine. Let me just check or that. Or Morbius numbers? Uh, it's got to be pretty I close. I think it's... Morbius, I think it's... Got to remember that Morbius got uh, a, a movie theatre debut twice. Morbius did $39 million, so okay, Morbius right. was less. Okay. Uh, right. Morbius I, still the king. It beat um, it beat Megalopolis. Yeah, okay, sure. So are you happy with that? Uh, no, I'm not Oh, happy. my God. Madam Web was 49.1. Madam, there it is. Oh, no, that was worldwide. Okay, right. I apologise. So... Forbes, Forbes are saying also... They're the money boys. They are. Forbes, we're the money boys. They said this does have uh, a budget of nearly $200 million plus marketing. To break even, this needs to make $500 million. Well, the last one made a billion dollars. I know. So it should be easy. Just make half. Yeah. All you have to do easy. is make half, half the money of the last Go one. Go to your money back. Yeah. I mean, I mean, unless you make a movie specifically to mock... The people who really liked the last one, but nobody'd yeah. be stupid enough to do that. No, would they? even if they were a bunch of dorks, Mason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. Dis- I never liked yeah. the last one, so I'm in the clear. I, well, this is a. This is a, a like an unmitigated disaster. Make no mistake, and it's the year for it, Mason. It is really. Is, Audiences man. hate this. Critics don't really seem to like it. The Rotten mm. Tomato score like dropped lower and lower. People have called it boring, pointless, and insult. To the original Joker movie, a an perfect, insult to incels. A perfect movie, Mason. Wow, the, uh, my my uh, Twitter algorithm has served me a lot of people that really, really, really like this movie. Yeah, but look, clicking through, I think a lot of them are like Lady Gaga super fans. Oh, so okay. I think oh, you're in that algorithm. Somehow I've ended up in there. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I think they're just making the best of the situation. I mean, she's pretty good in it. Yeah, I agree. What what remains in the movie of her? I suspect yeah. a lot got cut out. It does feel that way, yeah. Mm. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, here we go. What do you think the story was? Oh, all right. It's two years after he did a big Joker he on television. He did the big Joker on television. Remember that? He was like, I'm the Joker, baby. Yeah. Bang, bang. Bang, and one for you too, Mark Maron. What? Ah, you're too wily for me, Mark Maron. Yeah, Mark Maron. Yeah, out. you're not in this. You're not in the sequel. I wish he was. Me too. Because he could have been one of the people they brought back to the courtroom. Right. Because they were like, and for the next w- next witness, and I'm like, there are no more witnesses. Right. I remember that first movie. There's not many people in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, go on. anyway, so it's been two years since he did all those murders. Yeah. Uh, and he's in. He's still in Arkham Hospital. Uh, they, they're going to do a competency hearing to see if he's sane enough to stand trial. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to do a big trial. Yeah. But before the big trial. Oh. He um. Uh, he, the, some of the guards have taken a bit, a bit of a shine to him yeah, because they find him so delightful. He's a funny fella. He's a funny little fella. And so they decide to take him over to B Ward, mm-hmm. Bert Ward, 
uh, to <laughs> I, that must be a reference, right? I hope so. Yeah, I didn't pick up on that good at all. Reference. Yeah. Um, and, and and over in B Ward, there's a few good references in this. Wouldn't there's you say? There's so many good references. <laughs> you love comic book movies that are barely comic book movies, don't I you? I do. <laughs> we'll that get into that. They're afraid. To yeah, do we'll, it. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, but yeah. over there, it's uh, it's it's non-violent. Uh, inmates, and, yep. he, and, he, and he catches the eye of one Lee Quinzel, mm. who's in there. She's in the um, she's in the singing department. Yeah, well, they all sing, and, and they're like, "Why don't you have a sing also, Arthur Fleck?" Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't mention his name yet, but it's Arthur Fleck. It is. It was in the first one too. It's just so true. And she's like, "I love you. You're the Joker. You're Joker, baby." Yeah. Now everybody says Joker, which yeah. I don't like. You, no. Yeah. He's the Joker. Not this one. No, he's not. He's Joker, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he's like, you're Joker. Why can't you be more Joker? I'm in love with you because you're Joker. Be Joker for me. Yeah, and then the rest of the movie is a courtroom drama and a musical. Mm. But they've not really committed to the musical part. Yeah, and the courtroom drama is like, is this guy who definitively shot five people going to walk free? Mm. No. No. Obviously not. Because <laughs> <laughs> we all know we all know he done it. Yeah, he says he did it. Like yeah. Everybody knows. Like, Okay, but what if? <laughs> so this movie posits... It opens with a little kind of Warner Brothers Looney Tunes cartoon yeah. called Me and My Shadow, I mm-hmm. think, yeah. that implies that his personality was split into two. He's Arthur Fleck, but he's also Joker. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. It was actually Joker that did all the murders, so technically. See, I think which that, is a real, it's a, it's a real Two-Face kind of yeah. situation, which I don't think was present in the first movie I, at all. I think that is like the initial interpretation and that's kind of the defense that they mount. But what I took from that towards the end was that it shows because his shadow is kind of getting up to mischief. Mm. It's basically that the shadow has grown. The shadow of the Joker has outgrown him Uh, and is getting him into trouble. Mm. That's how I think initially, yeah, Yeah, it's a split personality, but I don't necessarily. (laughs) He's just a little guy. Yeah. He's just a little guy. It's nothing's his fault. Yeah. And look, as somebody who didn't love the first movie, I thought it was okay. Okay. You hated it. The first movie. Yeah. I think this one is slightly better just because it's there's some more interesting ideas. Like it does – all the performances are as good as they've ever been. Joaquin mm. Phoenix is great. I, I like Eddie, Lady Gaga. Did you like his Foghorn Leghorn impression? <laughs> I loved it. I loved how it went for 10 minutes. Um, I, I, think, I think the way that it deconstructs – what pe- some people think of that character uh-huh, yeah. is funny to me. And, and, and maybe it, I'm turning into the Joker. You might be turning into the because Joker. Because it became this kind of, like the mythos behind that movie that like, oh, this guy is dangerous and this movie will make you run out into the street and flip a cop car. Mm. And this movie just goes, nah, he was a fucking loser. Mm. And, he had, and he was failed by his family and the system and nobody cares about him and he sucks and he's a virgin. Mm, yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, so <laughs> I think that is so interesting to... Torpedo your own movie. Yeah. And the right? fan base. Yes. Because it's not our money. No. At $200 million of our money. <laughs> so anyway, if, if, you're, if you're listening, Todd Phillips, Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga, James has just said he thinks this is slightly better than the first one. So yep. well done. Well I do think guys. that. I well do. Done. Because I, and look, I won't die on that hill. <laughs> but again, like, I don't particularly like the first one. Mm. So me saying it's slightly better don't take that as any kind of high praise. They won't. You didn't even say it was good. <laughs> I didn't say that, no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like you said, this movie is almost entirely contained within the walls of a courtroom and, yep. the, and the prison. Yep. Uh, it's just a lot of it is just relitigating literally the, the events of the first movie. Yeah. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a man portraying Harvey Dent as the, as the prosecutor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, I, I looked at the Wikipedia page and the actor was apparently told uh, he, he he went out of his way not to look at any of the other performances of Harvey Dent in Batman Forever and all That's the other. very evident because he's just a guy. And the Dark Knight and <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And, yeah, and I'm like, did you not see any of those even by accident? They were all pretty big movies. <laughs> How did you? I think he does a good job, though. Yeah, he's fine. He's you know? smarmy. He's, yeah. Yeah. Mm. If you, I, I, think, I, I kind of feel like Harvey Dent needs a certain amount of physicality to him. You know bit what of I mean? a skinny lollipop head. This man. guy was a bit of a skinny lollipop head man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we get. <laughs> Those are your words. I agree. So we get it. Yeah, we get it. We get a. We get some. We get an assortment of of character witnesses brought in. Arthur's defense attorney, played by Catherine Keener, who's delightful. Yeah. To bring she she wants to bring in a bunch of people to say, well, actually, 
it's a different man. You know, he's, he's yeah. a joke is a different person, but, uh, I, but uh, D.A. Harvey Dent is like, isn't he the same guy pretty much? Mm. Anyway, it's just that for like two hours. Yeah, isn't he the same guy, but pretty much? Yeah, he was pretty much, actually. He is, yeah. In a way, he is the same guy, yeah. Uh, but, but, but it's interspersed with a variety of uh, half-hearted uh, musical interludes. So yeah, I, it, might be just, it might be just Arthur Fleck singing in his mind in the prison or it might be... Him, him crying into a phone. Yeah, it could be crying into a phone or maybe, <laughs> maybe Lady Gaga is there and he's there and they sing to each other in a prison cell. Sometimes or they're real, sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's like a Sonny and Cher kind of yeah. variety show when they're out there and singing and talking to a crowd or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes I, think, I thought that one was interesting. I think mm. because it's not just... I think maybe that, look, I didn't think the singing was particularly great, but I thought it was the most interesting part of this. I, I, I think it was. Besides Todd Phillips torpedoing a movie to. Yeah. You know, because that's what Zazlav would love right now, to yeah. spend $200 million on a movie <laughs> and, and make nobody want to watch it. Again, fascinating. But I also think, like, just to quickly get back to that, I mean, that's how I interpreted that movie. Not to say that that's right, but I didn't look at that movie and go, "What a cool guy!" No, because I was like, "This is a fucking this is a, this is a guy who has like limited mental capacity. Yeah, who's been like has fallen through the cracks and he broke. Yeah, right. And that and this movie just basically reiterates that and just yeah. kind of puts the boot in a little bit. And more. then it's like, so what do you think about him now? I think the same. <laughs> I think the same thing as the last time. But I'm now kind of. More sad for everybody around him, I yeah. guess. Because we get, you know, we get the return of a couple of people. We'll perhaps talk about it in spoilers. Yep. We get a, you know, we get the return of some people who are just like, yeah, he was weird and strange and violent and I was scared. Yeah. And I thought he was the same guy. Okay, thank you, next witness. Like that was <laughs> sort of over and over again. There was a certain point and maybe people would reach it at different times, but I think there was at, at one point – we did get a return of one of these characters and I went, oh, this movie, I don't think it's going to go any further than the last one. Yeah. Like it's just it's just sort of saying, to me it's just saying over and over again, nothing matters and this guy's going to fall through the cracks and it's sad and everybody got traumatized yep. and it's bad and there's not a happy ending for anybody mm -hmm. and that's it. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, know, I did see the last one. That's, that's again, true. He's, the, the, this movie is, it's, like you said, it's it's... It's going like, <laughs> actually, you were wrong. Your assessment about him from the last movie was wrong. <laughs> but it wasn't, so. <laughs> we were right, actually. We were right, actually. You confirmed it for yeah, us. Yeah, that's right. So this is. You made a movie that made me feel right. This is largely unnecessary. Yeah. So it, to me, it kind of needed, it, I guess it's about the journey then. If, if I'm not going to be. Sure. If I'm not going to be sort of challenged and, and surprised by this and have my expectations of that character turned around by the end of this movie. I want to see some interesting stuff happen in it. Yes, and in that journey, which is mostly a court case, as you said, it's <laughs> like your your witness. Yeah, it's like it's you. You're the same. You are the Joker, and you did kill these people. You, we all know that, mm. and it does. It feels kind of like mostly pointless. And there's a moment where, like, he kind of like he takes control of the case. And oh so yes, he, he turns, because because uh, uh, Harley Quinn mm. says, "Oh, you should fire your." You know, there's, there's, I guess the the most interesting part of it to me is that the the um, Catherine Keener, as his defense, is sign, kind of trying to push this idea of like, no, you're not the Joker, you're just Arthur Fleck, and it's a, yeah. it was a different personality, and you were pushed towards it. But but Harley Quinn is like, no, no, that's you should you be you should be the Joker because that's what all the people outside, all the wit, all the 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 people who've been inspired by you, that's what they want to see. Yes. This is being televised, and you want to you want everybody to see this, and that that's how you'll win. Kind yeah, of thing. But also, like, obviously not because yep. like if you just prove to everybody that you're the Joker, what the judge the judge is going to go great. Mm. Uh, Unless you kill the the judge with yes. a hammer in your mind, that is true. You could do that. Yeah, and the thing is as well, like. It's almost. It's also just. I uh, just one thought before you hmm. get to that. Uh, also, to be clear, this is not a comic book movie. Oh the last, no, the last one wasn't either. Yeah, I mean, it's just like again, just to put in a couple of references and a couple of names. Mm. Barely, barely. Bert yeah. Ward, for example, a Bee famous Ward. reference. Yeah. Um. So the, again, this isn't. It's sort of. You think it'd be Ward B? You know. Yeah, you think it would be a you'd Ward. Think it would that. be Ward B. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just. Just. We've fallen into the trap of reviewing this, even though it isn't really, you know, in the wheelhouse at all. 
And we, it's I mean, happened it, again. It's the big movie. It is the we big movie. We review the big movie. We do review the big movie. That's yeah. true, yeah. I mean, I just th- it's there's kind of like farcical elements to it where, so when he fires his lawyer and then he just turns up to court dressed as the Joker. Mm. And it's, dressed I guess, as Joker. Dressed as Joker, sorry. And mm. I guess it's just fucking Air Bud rules because the judge is like, well, there's technically no rule that says that you can't dress as Joker. I feel there would be. It's called contempt of court. Yeah. I have it all and and have it everywhere. And lets him like cross-examine witnesses but he clearly doesn't know what he's doing because he's an idiot. Mm. Like it makes it very clear that he himself is very easy manipula- easily manipulated and he's not really the Joker or Joker because mm. the Joker <laughs> doesn't kill five people and then go on trial and then like that's the end of his story. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm. Like it's not – and mm. I guess that movie also – they'd pretty much – you know, that's kind of where it goes towards mm. the end. Also, there's no double stair kick. That's true. A lot of a lot of stuff from the trailer the did get cut out. I don't know, man. There's a there's a few bits. There's a there's a there's a pivotal scene towards the end uh, that involving the stairs. Yeah. There's a double kick, but there's also another situation on the stairs that again is not in the movie, which suggests that they maybe didn't even know where I it was have going towards the end. Information on and is on that an a spoiler type ending. moment? It yeah. will absolutely will be. Yeah, right. Anyway, the real star of this movie is cigarettes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cigarettes for smoke days. A big, big cigarette. God, everyone's so dirty. It's <laughs> punch and darts. Doesn't matter where you could be in maximum security solitary confinement lockup in Burt Ward. Yeah, and they'll just give you cigarettes. And give you, you a just, goddamn you cigarette. Just, I mean, you've had a you've had a tough week of being Foghorn Leghorn and defending yourself against all those murders that you definitely did. <laughs> but you can still be you can still be in the hole in the Burt Ward hole smoking. smoking what are you some lighting them with? Other cigarettes. Yeah, almost. Certainly. You're just going tip to tip. Yeah, that's all right. goddamn night. Yeah. Uh, anyway, look, Joaquin Phoenix. He's great. I think he might even be better than the first one. I think he does more. I think his range, like his physicality, like he starts small. Right. And uh-huh. he kind of, when he becomes Joker, mm. he's he's bigger. He's like, big, you know, yeah. like in like physicality and just mm. personality. Okay, sure. I see that. Um, yeah, I think also like it's interesting because he's also portraying a man when he's Arthur Fleck that like he barely exists. Right, you know, like right. he's not, he's not, he's like a, like a whisper of a human being. That's true, he is. Yeah. He's swallowed up by those big underpants, isn't he? He certainly is, yeah. And I do like Lady Gaga. I think, mm-hmm. what's her name? Lee, Harley, Lee Quinn's, Lee, Lee Quinn, Quinn or whatever. They called her Lee Quinzel yeah. in this. I think it's interesting. Or maybe just Lee Quinn, I don't know. Yeah, the way that she perceives him and it's like, well, is she manipulating him? Because she is, she has a... Background in psychology, like she, they bring yeah, that over. She she gives him a, a a sort of a sob story about killing her parents, and maybe not, that that isn't true. And yeah, you know, she got thrown in the in the hospital, but maybe she didn't. You know, etc. And and that all sort of unravels, and then the question then becomes: Is she manipulating him, or yeah. do, does she does she even know she is? Maybe she yeah. just does she believe he like he's a person who he isn't? You know, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the movie answers all of these questions very, very uh, satisfyingly. Agreed. Mm. It's a good movie. Worst movie ever, though. Uh, let me just say, Deadline to apparently said that Joker Two wasn't tested, which in turn provided a problem, which was to, uh, in terms of creating a marketing strategy. God, they should have got those super fans in. They I know. Assembled that super fan team because that is true. If you look at the marketing for this, like. The reason why it didn't have this initial kind of burst at the very least mm-hmm. is because people were like, I don't like this or understand what's happening here. Right. Like it's a musical or it's not. Wait, what? How, what much of, how much of the idea that it was a musical was in any of the, the trailers or anything Very like that? little, I feel. Mm. But see, that's the thing. So I would have thought that the huge box office of the previous one and the fact that, you know, it's more of Joker and there was double kicks and there was – it was running through the streets in the trailer, and yeah, and he's he's a he's in the spotlight, and he's in a white suit, and it looks very exciting. Damn. You would think that would immediately translate to at least a big initial box office opening weekend, yeah. and then if people didn't like it, word of mouth would spread, and then it, it would be that you know famously massive drop off we get sometimes, mm. but just never came out of the gate. Nope. So what happened? Did people? Did yeah. people learn? Did peop- was it the fact that it, wa- it is a musical? Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. Did people figure out that what it was going to be or what they thought it was going to be and yeah. were like, no, I'm not interested in this? It is wild that it is bombing so hard. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it isn't great, but also... I love it. You'd think it would have tricked enough people. Yeah. Or, or did, do, does the... 
if we were to look, knowing what we know now, having seen the movie, if we mm. were to look back on the trailers, do they give the impression that it is going to be kind of a dismantling of the the mythos of the Joker or Joker? Know. I don't know about no, that. I don't think it is yeah. either. Yeah. Yeah. Um, look, I thought the relationship between Harley Lee Quinn, whatever, and and Joker, <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought that was the most interesting element of the story. I thought their chemistry was interesting, mm. and uh, and there was also there was also some fun with them as well. Yeah, it was fun, uh, like actual genuine fun. I think I think that for me, uh, for the most part, I guess worked. Yep. I am going to say best movie ever. Interesting, uh, and, but it's also mostly because they torpedoed this seemingly on purpose. And I just uh, yeah. think that is incredibly bold. On purpose or because Todd <laughs> Phillips doesn't know how to direct a sequel? Somehow. I mean, I don't even know. Does like, he get the yips after a – because The Hangover was good yeah, for its time. Sure, it probably yeah. hasn't aged all that well. Yeah. But that was really good. And then the sequels were garbage. Yeah. And that seems to be his I MO. Mean, I don't know how many sequels he's doing. But also, like, I'd imagine that most of the story of this came from, what, like Joaquin Phoenix. Oh. I think he, he would have had almost, like, universal creative control on this. Right. Otherwise okay. – Todd Phillips would be talking about doing a Harley Quinn spinoff or a Joker 3 or whatever, and he is very much like, I am not doing this ever again. Interesting. And yeah. I think that says something oh. because he made The Hangover 3. Okay. Anyway, best movie ever by a long way. Wow. This is a good movie. Don't you think? It's better than Megalopolis, so that's yeah, maybe that. <laughs> recalibrate, it's recalibrated my brain entirely. So maybe it is the best movie ever. Let me think about it for a moment. I just find it interesting. I it just think the whole thing is interesting and not necessarily the movie, but just the whole thing is yeah, interesting. Yeah, I did have another thought on it. What was it? Oh, yeah, so people sort of I, – I saw some people going, okay, well, you know, it's not what people want. What people probably wanted was a little bit of maybe, you know, prison movie, a little bit of kind of – uh, courtroom drama and then he gets out and he goes on a spree. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and Are we I, in spoilers now? Not yet, no. Okay. Um, but I think, you know – and people said, well, actually, that, that would be against the spirit of what is happening in that movie. Okay. But I think there is more of a there – there should be a more happy medium there, right? Yeah. Um, uh, let's do some spoilers now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say it was the best movie ever. I'm going to say that too. Yeah, there we go. We've done it, folks. We've done it. It's the best movie. And for people who are out there who are like, what do you say? The best? Listen to the rest of the review. Yeah. We just did the review, so you listen. Yeah. Our opinions are contained within the. And we only have two options. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. 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 That was forced on us. That's right. Yeah. I think there is something to be said for like, because, okay, so spoilers, at the end of it, we're jumping around a bit where the courtroom wall blows out and some Joker acolytes like rescue him. Mm. And then you think, and he well, thinks. Well, they sort of rescue him by accident. Yes, that Because the mean explosion to. almost certainly would have killed him. Yeah. Because it killed most of the people in and that And he building. was the closest to that explosion, yeah. it would say. Maybe because he was at the heart of the. He was the eye of the storm. He that's didn't probably, kill him. That's probably why. Yeah, didn't yeah, kill yeah. Him. So he. The, 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 Joker, uh, the Joker cultists blow up the wall of the, the he courtroom. He gets chased by bigger Joker. He gets chased by one of his. One of his um, what do you call them? Acolytes? Yeah, acolytes, that'll do. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. His um, Minions? What does Jesus have? Minions. Jesus yeah, has Jesus minions. Has minions. Yeah, yeah, disciples. Yeah. There we go. Um, and, he, yeah, they're like, they're like, okay, we're going to get you to safety, and they put him in a car, and then he, he realizes he doesn't want to be part of it or whatever, and he just runs away, and they yeah. chase him. Yeah, that happens, and then he gets caught yeah, by the police. Yeah, because he has this idea, like, that he goes he goes back to the stairs where he did the big Joker dance. Mm. And, like, there was – and that just kind of confirmed to me that, yeah, this is not a well man, like – he, he catches up to, to Harley Quinn or whatever her name is, and he's like, let's go build a or mountain. Or does he? Or does he? Yeah, it could be fake. Who cares? Well, because there's a, there's a scene prior to that where she puts a gun to her head. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it might not be real or whatever. But uh -huh. um, yeah, And yeah, then yeah. she's like, oh, I only liked you because you were Joker. Yeah, no, you're not no. Joker. Doesn't that, I mean, if anything, isn't that going to teach incels that you should be Joker? Mm, that's you a know? great point. You know? Because girls, will, girls will not, like you. Not being Joker yeah. has has ruined his whole deal. Yeah. So if you just lean into being Joker, yeah. then you're cool. Like he was but yeah, he was never gonna he doesn't have the capacity to get away. No. Like he doesn't, he's not, and we know this because the movie tells us at the end, and Todd Phillips said this, but like he's not the Joker. Mm. Because he's, he's not a criminal mastermind. No. He's a he's, he's again a sad guy. he's a sad guy mm. who like has been failed multiple times and he broke. Um, anyway, we're going to talk a bit about the sexual assault in this now. Yeah. You want to skip ahead? Oh, Brendan Gleeson is in this. Yes. He's, he's one of the guards. Yep. He's taken a shine to Arthur Fleck. Yes. But of course, he's, you know, mm. he's, he's also a very nasty man. They all are. They all that, are. In that prison. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, and uh, and he he, one, he, go, he goes, there's, there's the moment in the, the movie where 
Arthur is convinced by Harley that he should be Joker in the Go full Joker. And so he gets in there and he puts the Joker suit on and Airbud rules a place. I so declare, allowed to do and he I'm does the, the full Joker. Foghorn Leghorn and he goes in and he talks to Gary Puddle, yeah. who was the little person in the previous movie yep. who he who Arthur didn't kill because mm. he was the nice one. And then he just sort of traumatizes this guy in the stand. Yeah. And the guy's like, I'm, I'm the scared judge, and I'm the sad. The judge is like, I'll allow it. Yeah, I'll allow you to do this. That's <laughs> fine. But then he makes, Arthur makes such a spectacle of himself yeah. as Joker. Yeah. Uh, the, the, when, he, when he gets put back he in prison. He insults the, the guards as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he gets too full of himself. Yeah. And then they assault him in the showers. They like yeah. drag him into the, into the darkness and... You and know, you don't see it. No. But they basically assault the Joker out of him. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, I hate this, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and then it also, it apparently also what, what, why he also doesn't become the Joker is because the kid that he's friends with also gets murdered by the, the guards, the guards yeah. that same night. So it's, it's two things. And then when he goes back into the courtroom, he's just like, no, I don't want to be the Joker anymore. Mm. And I just think that like, what's such a weird way to approach this? Like, yeah. it's a really, it's just awful. It is awful. <laughs> yeah. It's like, remember when Zack Snyder was always like, oh, put Batman in prison, wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, Ha-ha. yeah. It's like Todd Phillips took that and went, let's do that for real. That yeah. would be fun. Strange. It's actually not fun. Yeah. So anyway, um, I guess we'll stop talking about that here. Yeah, sure. Time code. Yeah, if, it's uh, crook. Collings. Yeah, it's crook as. Mm. Uh, anyway, Harvey Dent's in this. Yep. And he becomes Two-Face or Harvey Scratch-Face. Scratch-Face. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, that's a, that's a big teaser for the next one, isn't it? Oh, my God. Where he'll be a, a man with a slightly scratched face. Yeah. And maybe he'll be traumatized and maybe he won't want to go back to being the DA because he got scratched in the face in a, in a courtroom. Slightly. Yeah, so that'll be the whole next movie. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of it, he'll be like, no, I think I'll retire, actually. Because <laughs> of the scratches on my face. Because of the scratches on my face, yeah. God, it's just, um, I, I mean, I didn't think they were going to do it at all. Mm-hmm. But this is worse. You can't just like commit a little bit more to that. Yeah, right. Just a little bit oh, more. Also, here's one that I, that it's just occurred to me. At the end of the move, at the end of the first movie, it was sort of heavily implied that one of the clowns was going to kill the Wayne family. Yes, but it's not wrench- it's not mentioned in this at all. No, that is true. And you'd think it would be because they'd say it's pretty significant. They'd say the riot that was caused Arthur Fleck and that resulted the in the Wayne death fa- of Wayne family, a big big deal or whatever, right? But that's it. Didn't ha- just didn't happen, I guess. I also think isn't it strange that like if you wanted people to come and see this movie, and I said this in one of the live shows I did in the UK, you put Batman in this, sure. That's the answer, or an or a Batman like character. Exactly, or you do it Gotham style. You go, okay, the Joker's just a sad man in prison, but he inspired the Riddler. Yeah, and there's a Riddler out there now. He's Maybe. riddling around. He's riddling around. He's wriggling around. He's wriggling there's and riddling. There's a penguin. There's a make Gary Puddle the penguin or He's something. He's the penguin, Mason. You know? sure. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, like, but the point of this Joker is. He's not the Joker. Correct. Because the Joker gets jokered by the Joker. Oh, yeah, so that's the big finish. <laughs> for people who for people who have not seen this movie, have continued to listen to this review and have perhaps heard some rumors on the on the on the social media rumor mill that this is what was going to happen. At the end of the movie, uh, he's back in prison. Yep. He's been found guilty because mm-hmm. he did it all and he admitted it. Yeah. And he's a bad lawyer. And he said that he killed his mom. Yeah, he so he admitted all that. So he's gonna get double the chair, I yep. guess. He's gonna get the chair. For the first five murders, and then they're going to put him back in the chair and then fry him again for <laughs> killing his mum. Uh, but then he's back in prison, and then one of the guards is like, hey, Arthur, you've got a visitor. And he goes out into the hall to go to the place where you, you see your visitors. And then a guy who we've seen a couple of times in the movie, like very briefly, another inmate. He's smiling away in the he's background. He's smiling away. You see him a couple of times. He maybe has a, he maybe has a line or two in the movie. Yeah. He shows up behind Arthur Fleck, and he has a chat with him, and then he tells him a joke. And then he stabs him like 20 times with mm. a knife. And then as, as Arthur Fleck falls to the ground and is bleeding to death, presumably to death, unless yeah. they want to bring him back for the sequel. Yeah. J- joke, joke three-er. <laughs> uh, and then this guy is laughing away because he's, he's killed the Joker. He's killed Joker, sorry, rather. Yeah. And then sort of off camera we see him carve a Glasgow smile. The, the Joker smile into his face. It's the Heath Ledger. Implying that it's the of. Heath Ledger Joker. Even though that Oh, I don't think it's implying no, that, but but it's he's, yeah. he's a more intense Joker, yes. I guess. He's he's some he's but again this is it's it's really the same thing as the previous movie in that he is a kind of a sad weak man, but he has inspired people outside of his control. Yes. So in the last one he inspired a gang of people to rise up against inequity and and, and corruption shoot Bruce Wayne's parents. and shoot Bruce Wayne's parents which they failed at. So great job idiots. And 
And in this one, he's inspired, you know, the people outside, the bigger Joker and so forth. Mm. But another guy who's like, I'm going to do more Jokery stuff. I'm the Joker, baby. I'm the Joker, baby, even though I'm probably going to get the chair immediately for this. Well, it, there's like a couple of ways you can interpret it. One, that Harley Quinn, who rejected him, came back to show him the baby or whatever. Oh, she's pregnant. Uh, so she's or pregnant. is she? Maybe she's not even alive. Yeah, maybe she's not even alive. Or, but probably what happened is the guards were like, you've got a visitor. But he probably didn't. And yeah. the guards just got him murdered because the guards you could see them manipulating or there's one point they they get him to kiss another inmate that's right and it's like so i think that's probably what happened and i guess if you continue this universe which they won't <laughs> no. that's probably bruce wayne's joker oh yeah maybe yeah okay because that guy's quite he's a bit younger, younger and yeah, right. whatever yeah. yeah if you fudge the timelines he yeah. would be this bruce wayne's joker potentially sure yeah yeah so here's the thing. This is uh, uh, an interview that Todd Phillips did with EW. So he said, yes, this means in case, you, in case you didn't know. Yeah, you just the magazine. Crooked, just the crookest movies they review. <laughs> Ew. I watched this and I thought, ooh. It's just this and Megalopolis. Yeah, I said, yes, this means Arthur was never really Joker in the first. He says Joker as well, not know, the Joker. Right, yeah. In the first place, he merely served as an inspiration for the man who would become Joker after him. He realized that everything is so corrupt, it's never going to change. And the only way to fix it is to burn it all down. When those guards killed that kid in uh, the hospital, he realized that dressing up in makeup, putting on the thing, uh, this thing, it's not changing anything. In some ways, he's accepted the fact that he's always been Arthur Fleck. He's never been this thing that's been put upon him. This idea that Gotham, uh, the Gotham people put on him, that he represents. He's an unwitting icon. This thing was placed on him. Yeah, you said that. And he doesn't want to live as a fake anymore. He wants to be who he is. Nobody, essentially. Wow. He's a nobody man. And also, there was an original ending to this, and there is some footage of it. Of it's got Harley Quinn dancing on the stairs. It's Lady Gaga singing, and then the cops swarm on her. Uh -huh. And what it seems to be that the original ending or one of the ending was he goes to the stairs and she kills him. Yeah, and right, And then right, she right. does the big Joker dance. Uh -huh. But in this, it seems to be that because when they meet at the stairs, if she's alive, which she might not be, he, go he goes back down the stairs. And if you remember in the first movie, going down the stairs – represents his descent into madness. Oh. And she goes up because she's like, I don't believe in this shit anymore. I'm out of here. Interesting. So you okay. could look at it that way wow, as well. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, yeah. So it's just really good stuff, isn't it, Mason? It's pretty very good stuff, I think. It makes you think about being the Joker. Did you know that um, Todd Phillips has a link to uh, famous serial killer, clown serial killer, John Wayne Gacy? Yeah, what is this? So this is... Years ago, Todd Phillips was making a documentary about Gigi Allen, who's like a famous performance artist, musician. Okay. You know, an Edie, a real Eddie's own poop kind of guy. Oh, of that, guys. okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so he was set about making a documentary, um, Gigi, hated Gigi Allen and the Murder Junkies, um, one of the highest grossing student films of all time, but he um, he needed to make some, like, some funding for it. He okay. He needed to get some funding to finish it. So... Gigi Allen was friends with John Wayne Gacy and Todd Phillips asked Gacy to paint a promotional poster for the film. So Gacy ma agreed to make the poster for 50 bucks and Phillips sold a thousand posters for $15 each and ended up making 10 grand. <laughs> so in a way, John Wayne Gacy was like a producer of the film. Incredible. And if you look at John Wayne Gacy in clown makeup, it's just Joker. Like the Joker makeup in this movie, it's the You're same. You're right. It's not dissimilar. It's exactly yeah. the same. That's very interesting. Yeah. I just saw this article via Deadline, Mason. Apparently, Warner Brothers gave Todd Phillips final cut. That's because of the work that he did on the original Joker movie and also the Hangover movie. So in total, he's earned them like $2.5 billion. So then they were like, you can do this weird auteurish kind of run at the Joker. I mean, don't lose us any money. Yeah, no, obviously not, yeah. And the other thing is, <laughs> this is fun. Um, somebody asked... Well, we need a bit of fun, quite yeah, frankly. Somebody asked uh, James Gunn on Twitter, JJ124654 said, bro, why is there no uh, no DC Studios logo on Joker Folly Adieu? And <laughs> Because they're, they're simultaneously attempting to blame James Gunn for this. Yeah. And... Blame James blame James Gunn for not doing this? Yeah. Like, however this turns out, it's got to be James Gunn's fault somehow. <laughs> he said, uh, uh, yeah, because it's not a DC Studios film. All right. And this was in production, I think, before he came on board regardless. Mm. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, I mean, I like that he's just like, this is not one of mine. You sure? <laughs> yeah. 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 Got some reviews here, Mason, oh, for I'm people ready. who saw the movie. Oh, maybe so see, pe yeah. people, did they understand the movie, though, is the question. Well, let's find out. Mm. C-Ray said, I've regrettably seen Joker Folly Adieu. Todd Phillips fucked it. Literally and figuratively <laughs> worst movie ever. They mustn't have understood it. Yeah, I think that's probably it. We understood it. That's why we said it was the best movie yeah. ever. Yeah. Uh, Master Baden says, 
Uh, saw Joker 2 last night. Love the first act. It was definitely a bit of a messy movie. Some scenes felt drawn out, especially some of the fantasies and courtroom scenes. It could have been a two-hour movie, in my opinion. Perfect ending. Keep up the amazing spot pod. Much love, boys. How long was it? Two and a half hours? Uh, two twenty. It was half an hour of ads before my showing. Oh, you were in there a while then. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dan says, Joker 2 Electric, Folly Adieu is a comic book movie musical where the person behind it doesn't understand what makes comic books or musicals enjoyable. Ouchies. Atrocious. Ouchie, wouchies. I mean, it isn't really a comic book movie that, or a no, musical, all, is no. it? Yeah. That's again, not. they could have, again, like the, the initial drawing people in was was to, you know, just paste some some references. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll stand by that, James. Uh, Stout Twitter said, uh, the movie is deeply disappointing, but people got to chill. It's not that bad as a movie. Reminded me of Last Jedi with harsh reviews around it and uh, the way it, it made its goal to deflate my excitement. Uncle Blademan says, in the first one, the movie tries to make you feel and justify Arthur's anger at the cruel world. This one just tries to make you feel for Arthur's longing for an ounce of happiness in the cruel world. And that is just more compelling. This person also understood the movie. I agree. Like we did. And Ryan T says, Joke of Two feels more like a vanity project for its stars and a meaningful expansion on the themes and ideas brought up by the first one. A massive disappointment. And I didn't even like the first one that much. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, that's the end of the Joker franchise, Mason. Goodbye, everybody. We did it. We 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 did this. Leave a comment below if you think it's the end of the Joker franchise. Leave a comment below if you think we did this. Yeah, did we do it? Did we do it, folks? Did we all do it together? I think we did. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Anyway, should we move it along? Let's move it along. What to what? Oh, uh, what we're we reading. Yep. What we're we gonna read? Let's do it. Nice. 